Da -da, da -da, da -da. Unite equals L game. <laughs> these names are these names are get, they're getting so. Good. <laughs> we got unite sucks exclam exclamation point, and now we got. <laughs> It's like it's like y'all are looking for me in the mornings whenever I play. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crashy, and today we're diving into a solo queue game of Zero Aura in lane. I want to talk a little bit about the one shot build. If you haven't seen it, um, the one shot build, you got to put the air quotes around it a little bit. Um, but to give you guys the refresher on why this is one of my favorite things to play in the game entirely. I made this build a while back and I have loved it pretty much ever since. It sees a little bit of iteration, but um, mostly the same. We got an attack and crit emblem page uh, just to raise the attack. Attack. And then I get a little bit of a crit on my uh, auto attacks, which is always nice. And then we have the weakness, the attack weight to raise our attack stat. And then we have the energy amplifier for raising our damage by 21% post ult. So this is this entire build is centered around having big discharge damage. That's it. Like we're raising our attack stat so we can raise our discharge damage. And then we use the energy amplifier to raise that damage. So that's pretty much all this is about. Just yoink that. Oh, okay, so we fought him for a decent amount. We only have one stack. It sucks that he was able to get the second one. Dude. Okay, we can't outfarm this Del Fox. <laughs> you gotta use my slash to get it usually. But it's a little hard, and I'm too low now against the Mammo. Once the Mammo has his attention on me, I can't really stack, so maybe a little bit of a slow stacking game. I'm gonna try not to int too hard for it. Oh, we have our Gren here though. I could stick on this because we have the Gren. Oh, they have the Guardi though. Not great. Not great. I gotta grab this berry really quickly so we can be ready for A50s. Alright. Some good damage here, man. We got the big, so that's good. We're just gonna have to take some damage trade a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm struggling to stack on this one. Uh, I, like I said, I get, stacking against a Mammo is rough, but yeah, like whenever I get to... God. Whenever I get to like the actual... F yeah, I can't stack against this, man. This is rough. I mean, I could int for the stack, honestly. I don't even think I can. I literally can't. Okay. I literally can't even int for the stack. Okay, this is just a rough lane. Rough lane to stack against. Zara doesn't have the best time stacking, but usually getting 3-4 is like pretty easy, and then you can get your last couple later on. Um, for now, I'm just going to sit at the 1, hopefully just keep them from at least like snowballing this lane too hard with like turn-in. Um, so we just have to take it slow and honestly rely on our jungler. He's got the 8-minute farm in the, in the middle, but... At least our lane hasn't like rotated or anything to him. I'm gonna go for this stack. I really am. I'm, I'm in I'm in int mode right now. I really am because I use my agility and everything. So I'm kind of I'm kind of inting for the stacks. Hopefully the the jungler's not around. Okay, so I have two stacks now. It's just it's really just the best I can do for now. Um, when you lane Zara, you don't really get a ton of levels anyways. So that's kind of okay. I don't know if we can fight this. I'm just I'm just not in like a fightable position. Really not. Our Trevenant's struggle in. I wish our Zara would just go back to jungle, probably. And well, I mean, we could get the the seven twenties at, at minimum. I mean, there's some farm here too because they're they're max farm. So they just they're not gonna let me stack. You know what I mean? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Who the heck is here? I think our I think our Zara or our jungler should go back for jungle. He needs to go get his level nine. Like that's like that's really important. Okay, so what are we what did I say? We're at two stacks right now. I really think that this is not the play here. I'm not really sure why you went in there. We get our volt switch finally. Um I need I'm gonna need some help. Yeah, I can't. He's gonna zone me off for sure, you know. Oh my god, I one shotted. I literally one shotted when I dove into that. We're just like a little behind. Our team didn't really rotate. Mime's barely coming up. It looks like the Gren might be able to make a big play here, but I'm going to just try to trade the other side of the map, I think. Um, granted, I don't have a muscle band, so this build is not good at soloing objectives. So I'm hoping that they can defend that, but it doesn't look like they'd be able to. So maybe I should have gone top, to, but to be honest, I don't really have anything going for me right now. So I'm a little behind. And this build scales, so like I'm not overly worried about being a little behind. Well, now I'm just dead. Yeah, we're just having a rough we're having a rough time because we had a rough lane and that led into us really needing to like win top lane, but we had low, like slow rotations from our teammates, so we we're having a rough time. I need this just because I'm level seven. 
Okay, so like I said, this is gonna scale. I'm not overly worried just yet, but without even like level eight, this is like the most behind I feel like I've been on this build in a while. So we'll have to, maybe this will be a good example of like why you shouldn't give up and how you can like come, like bring yourself back in a match. Bottom is gone. Even if I go down there, it's gone. So we need to dive top. So I'm gonna come up here and help them with the dive on top because we, we have to do this. I wish I could use some of this to get more stacks out of it. I think I'm at three. I'm gonna try to push forward for four. Like we can trade some some time with them. So this is like my fourth stack. I might even be able to get some some jungle invade. Oh, look, we're close. We're close battle with them. Five stacks. Like I don't even care if I if I die here to be honest. Like, if I could turn this into a stack. I'll try. I'll try. Okay, can't turn that into a stack. That's fine. I'll just have to go straight to top lane. They're probably going to posture top. The the death is a little untimely. He just needs to make sure not to get caught out there. Just play back. Play back and wait for me is what they should be doing. Because if they die before I get there, then I can't help too much. The grin goes in with ults. Let's see how they're doing. It's not great. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're pop X attack, dive in, hit an ult, and then turn on discharge. I got to get to the Delphox or the Gardevoir for that. I'm stunned out too much. I did I did good damage, but I'm stunned out too much to actually hit my, my kill target, which sucks. They might be able to come back for a refight because Gren is back and then they have Trevenant. They might be able to get there in time, and if not, we can always defend it too. Okay, so we can just defend it. We'll grab some buffs. Score-wise, we're not even in a bad position. What did I say? I'm at five stacks, right? They should be able to defend that push just based on numbers and having the Trevenant ult, so I think I'm kind of good to do some of this stuff, but if they're pushing out too far, I might need to pinch back in. I'm trying to decide whether or not I need to pinch back in, but I don't think I do. But here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to just go back cap a little bit more, just for the sake of tempo and for my sixth stack. See the mammo there. Be able to stop that. All right, not getting out of this, sadly. It's fine, it's fine. Bottom lane Reggies, you know the way I think about bottom lane Reggies is they're nice, but they're not, they never feel like a necessity. Like you never really like need bottom lane Reggie to win the game or anything. Um, so it always just feels like over prioritizing, like even like fighting down there, like right now, feels like a little bit scuffed because somebody could, could back cap us and like we would lose our point lead. So it's like, yeah, bottom lane Reggie's nice, but I never really prio it too hard. Like right now with my team on bottom mostly, I wanna sit close to this top side so that way nobody can sneak a goal and take over the lead that we've established. Cause we've been behind and this has been a rough game and I'm not even showing off like how strong this build can be because we've been behind, but I'm showing off how you can kind of like, keep yourself in the game, keep it, keep the like goal post moving forward a little bit and like constantly make progress. And like, I'm still defending, right? So no time for a third Reggie Alecki. I might be able to come get level 13 up here if there's any farm. Nope, no farm. Um, I'll get this ball toy real quick. Dive away from him. I got to be careful from the mine because he's got Psychic, which is like an AoE stun. And that's the thing about playing Zera without a full heal. Full heal on Zera is really good. Um, but X attack for this build just adds to that damage that you want to do. But it's it's tough if there's a lot of CC. So I have to, I have to really dance around. Like the Serena positioning, the mine positioning. I have to go for Delphox and um, Gardevoir exclusively. Like I have to find a way to get to them. Okay, so we have normal lead. That's really good damage. Oh, that's a really good opener. Okay. That's a great opener. I'm going to get a little bit of extra turn in. They're starting that fight, so I can just peel back. Should be a fairly even fight. I'm actually just going to dive them on. Volt switch back, but unfortunately, I volt switch back into a Unite move. The Gren can kite here. He should be in a pretty decent position. He just needs to run. Use his cooldowns to run. Trevenant's going to hold the, the fight win, more or less. He just has to back up, too. I think Trevenant should reset instead of chasing down the Guardian at full hill. But he's going to get a reset on his ability his horn leech i'm gonna go for this red it's gonna put me closer to another ult that's the beauty of energy amplifier on this map you have a lot of slow refights you can do some good things okay we still have normal lead wait why are we ripping is that just to pull them in we should definitely not be ripping okay dive into that i want to i want to discharge back or volt switch back just so i can stay alive but it's really really hard okay 
With that many dead, I go for a back cap. Because if the fifth person stops me, then my team is free. And if they don't stop me, then I, I we get a back cap anyway. So, yeah, we basically win the game here. So the beauty of this game is that, like, this literally was, like, a perfect example of how, like, not every game is going to go perfectly, right? Like, I, I got hard shut out in lane, uh, got put in a position where we had to just farm and kind of, like, play fundamentals, like, not overfight too much. My damage is probably going to be super, super low, but I've been, like, contributing to the team fights the best I can and, like, being available to, like, playing macro, which is pretty huge. Now, wow, I literally ulted the stupid blue buff. <laughs> Just by flicking it out really fast, but there's nothing they can do. So yeah, not my best game, dude. And I, I, I do like showing these kinds of games off every now and then because sometimes you really just can't do enough. You, like you, you, like the matchup wasn't great for me. There was a lot that I was like playing into CC wise, but the game is still winnable and you can still do your job and you can still macro the map and defend goals and and do all that fun stuff. And I back captain got us in a lead a couple times. And so, you know, I had 200 score points scored, but I'm going to I'm going to guess I have like 35,000 damage or something, something really low. 45,000. Yeah, that's a pretty low damage game. I mean, we, it does it did the trick. Uh, you know, we had to win certain team fights and I was able to dive in and, and do a little bit of damage, but not a great matchup for me. So friends, if not a video about the build specifically and what it can do, although you can definitely check out videos on the channel of what it can do, um, take a look at, at the way that you can play a game from behind and how to not give up. So thank you so much for watching. Drop a like on the video, subscribe for future Pokemon Unite content. As always, be sure to be kind of love. Tell someone you love them and I'll see you on the next video.